Hello, my name is Nina Lim, and I'll be going into my third year of game development and entrepreneurship. But they did change the name to Game Development and Interactive Media at Ontario Tech University. I mainly chose it because it was close. Uh, I've always had a passion for gaming or, and just games in general. And it was really the only university that had a program like this. And the classes available weren't really provided anywhere else. And the pros of this university would definitely be the professors. They're really down to earth, relatable, and are able to understand the mindset of all their students because we all have that one common interest and goal, which is to create games. Another pro is that I didn't realize, even though it was in the program name, entrepreneurship, that you would need to take a business course every semester. And I was never interested in business related courses until I started taking them and now I consider them to be my favorite courses. And with learning how to create products and how to market them, they are very important especially when it comes to marketing your own game. Each year we have something called GameCon where you get to show off your games but your game is built upon the things that you've learned. The culture of the program is mainly just being really helpful. Everyone in the program is in a Discord, so any student from any year will pop into the chat just to help others whenever they have free time. Now, it can be quite competitive since at the end of your program, everyone will have created the same amount of games that you did. And the only way to differentiate yourself from others is not to slack in your games. Don't finish them just to finish them have outside projects and get involved. Create those connections since there are many opportunities to connect with companies through the yearly events. The teaching styles tend to just be reading off the slides and then they just add on to it as they go, while the other halves are follow-alongs like C++ programming or learning how to 3 model in Blender. For the evaluations and workload, it's all assignments and projects, so the workload can be quite heavy, but only if you don't have proper time management. When it comes to studying, it actually depends on the class. If it's programming or game math, you're going to need to know what you're doing, and that comes with a lot of practice. If it's game design, it's mostly common sense, like ways to keep your player interested in your game. But with any course in general, it's easy to fall behind, so if you need help, you need to get help. Literally, everyone in the program is so open to helping. With lectures and labs, you would learn the topics in class and then apply them in the lab. So labs are incredibly important to attend. Most labs were hands-on, uh, whether it be converting C++ coding to Unity or recreating a model yourself using the techniques that we're learning in class. I'd say it depends on the semester, whether it's fast or slow paced. You can have five assignments due every week for the fall semester, but feel like there's nothing to do in the winter semester. But no matter what, the end of each semester will always be fast paced since you have the final projects per class, plus your game that depends on each of those classes. We were graded mostly on our assignments and projects with very little of the marks being from our exams. We didn't have many exams, it was like max two per semester. Honestly, I did fail a few of my exams, but because my, pro my program is so project-based, the exams aren't worth a lot and they do bell curve it too. The mindsets you need to develop or possess to, be, to do well in this program is number one, be creative. Your job is to create a game that you would want to market to the public. You need to find ways to be different, or if you're targeting a market that has already had a couple well-known games, make it better, make it unique, and stand out. You always want to be open-minded. You can be creative, but I think you can also be narrow-minded at the same time. There are so many ideas and topics thrown at you in every, every course and every semester. The ideas can be endless, and being able to pull ideas from different perspectives will only make your game better. 
For non-hands-on courses, I study by looking through the slides and picking out what is important before paraphrasing them in my notebook. For math courses, I redo past questions and from what I remembered in person classes, we could have cheat, see, cheat sheets so I didn't have to memorize any formulas. Programming had cheat sheets but were useless because if you didn't know how to program, you wouldn't know how to use what you put on your cheat sheet. I didn't know you already paid for tutoring and your tuition. So I think you have like 15 hours of free tutoring available for each sem semester, which I didn't use at all. Another thing I wish I realized was not to be scared to ask for help, which I still struggle with today. That's what your professors and TAs are for. And even if you're asking every single week, as long as you are gaining that strong understanding of the topic, you should never be afraid to keep asking. Just keep practicing. It's simple, yet it's so hard to do. You just need to find that motivation to keep going and don't stop because if you do, you'll probably regret it. If you think about what departments make up a gaming company, they are exactly what we are taught. For your first year, you'll have programming, game math, graphic design using Photoshop, animation, game design, game dev workshop, and financial accounting. So because you're taught every department, if you're not doing well in, let's say, programming, but you do well in art, that's okay. At that point, you know that in your future, you won't be a part of the programming team since you excel somewhere else. As you progress through the years, they are really all the same idea, just more advanced. Like how in your first year, first semester, you have game design, and in the second semester, you have intermediate game design. Do not go into this program just because you like games. You need to want to understand the foundations of creating a game, how it works and why it works. In the first year, we had like 100 students. In the second year, there are only 50. In the fourth year, there's only about 20. So right off the bat, people are either realizing they just like the program because they game, or they figured out they actually want to focus more on art or on programming or business that don't correlate with games. If you like art, and struggle the program, go into an art specific program. And that's gonna apply for programming and business. If you don't like all the other things you're being taught and you only like that specific section, go into a program specific for that program you like. Cause game dev handles all of that at once. So if you think you can't handle these different departments in one semester, it's not going to go well and you're probably not going to enjoy half of what you're learning. Math was definitely not my thing. If I had to take calculus and vectors, I would not have made it in. A lot of the requirements are either this or that, meaning that you have options. Example would be you can take advanced functions, calculus and vectors, or mathematics and data management. You do not have to take all three, so be smart about it. It would also be best to learn computer science in high school to have that knowledge prior to university, but it's not required. They do teach you as if you've never learned it before, but it definitely makes it easy if you did. Honestly, all courses are hard if you don't try or practice. Most courses will go fine literally if you just do the work. Some courses are so easy and common sense based like game, and de game design. The courses are set. You can't pick and choose and you can't really choose the times for them either because of how few students there are, especially as the years go by and the numbers go down. The types of jobs you can expe expect could be 3D animation and modeling if you liked art, game programmer if you liked programming, level designer and level editor if you liked game design. It really just depends on what department you enjoyed the most. As I continued to be the project manager of my game dev group and just really in general, I was always the leader. I, I realized I liked being the leader. 
I like managing documents, people, assignments, scheduling, and marketing. And so lucky me, I was able to apply for a minor called Game Production Management, which is specific to our program. A lot of people were able to get full-time jobs at Ubisoft, EA Canada, Autodesk, Gameloft, and Compulsion Games, amongst many others. Or others just chose to start their own company, while others pursued a graduate degree in the computer science program. I would definitely encourage you to go for in internships to gain that experience and to create connections. Remember that everyone is going to graduate with the same amount of games that you created. Examples of in internships for second and third year, uh, they have a paid internship if you could hold a minimum overall of a 3.0 GPA plus. At places like IBM, Ministry of Finance, Ubisoft, or Cisco. Another internship position is at Capstone, which is a consulting-based project partnered with industry or faculty in teams during your fourth year for places like Durham Regional Police, Lenovo, and Hospital for Sick Children. First year on campus may have been expensive, but it was the best in both my family's eyes and mine. It was safe uh, right beside my classes and made my first year away from home much easier. It was so easy to make friends and hang out because I lived on campus and I got to explore the town with them too. My favorite part was that I could go to sleep in between classes and could stay out late without worrying if I would miss my one hour bus ride home. A con would be food. I was always worried about what to eat and sometimes wouldn't have time to eat so I just ate whatever I could find. Another con would be the rent. Any university company based living was crazy expensive and never offered an 8 month lease except the university dorms but those were just as expensive. Second year would be the best time to start looking somewhere else. I used Kijiji to find someone to sublet my room, which worked really quickly, so I'm currently using it again to find a place which has been a pretty simple process. You just have to keep checking and updating. And remember, if you get into housing situations with your landlord, like how I am currently still struggling with, the university offers a lawyer. And be wary, just because the West Village which is on campus, is on the cheaper side, just know I had to find a lawyer for a reason. I would recommend anywhere not university or company based. They have hidden fees and are just way too expensive. I'm trying to look for something like a family house where they're renting out their basement or just a room. You do not need to start your lease early and fear that you might not find one before school. Because I started, I found mine right after school ended. So I was paying for like six months that I was not even living there for. Just take your time, find a good place, and don't waste your money getting a lease right away and not living there until school starts. Is there a party culture? Yes, there is. There was always a party every Friday night at the same place and you'd have to pay to get in. Uh, for a guy, it was $10 and a girl was $5. And for every guy, there had to be two girls going in. So if you were like in the back of the line and you were a girl, you could go in right away. What areas of campus are popular to go? Uh, there's the fishbowl, is that that they call it. Uh, it's, a, it's just a very nice place to study. It's got like complete windows covering it. Very nice, but for where I would go, there was like these study rooms in, so they have like a north hall and south hall in terms of dormitory. They have really nice couches, so those are really nice places to always check out. They have multiple in each of the dorms. What clubs do you suggest getting involved in? Really anything that fits your interest, just go check it out. Uh, they usually have a club fair at the beginning of the year, so take that chance to make some new friends. I definitely found my group of friends and I'm now the executive of the K-pop club. Don't be scared, be open, be yourself. And if they don't like you for yourself, there's like a hundred 
more people on campus. So just don't be scared. It's very diverse, very, very. I've seen many types of ethnicities wherever I went. International kids, there actually is quite a few. I'm friends with a few because they're in my program. I think, in my opinion, are very welcomed, especially in terms of clubs. There's like specific clubs for each like ethnicity, which is pretty cool. I don't know much about it because I just never joined. They have guide walk-in guidance counselors, I think. Uh, academic advisors for each facu faculty in terms of like you have academic problems. You can opt out in your tuition in terms of dental, the optometrist and any type of insurance. Uh, you can back out of it and I, I think it's pretty cool that they have like a dentist on site in the so there's like UIT and there's Durham College but and like they're just kind of connected. Be careful with your money. Don't. I also spent a lot of money on just food. It was just, it was simple and easy, uh, very quick to get. But I realized too late I was running out of money very, very quick, and that's very scary too. Have time to de-stress, and don't be scared to take that rest and to have that self-care time, because. It can get really scary at some points where you're just too down deep in that stress. It's it sometimes can be pretty hard to get out of. So always make sure to have that time to yourself. I wish I used the insurance plan because I've paid for it. I didn't have I don't have insurance currently with my family, so I definitely should have taken advantage of that since I was I had paid for it anyways. For Anyone going into my program, definitely don't be scared. Everyone's incredibly nice and the professors are amazing and just in general, good luck.